It's Friday, let's go! Game time. Oh. Just got home from work. That means it's time to get started working on the house. Got a ton to do this weekend. It's gonna be busy. Hey dude, what's up? What up? Those doors all gotta go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten doors, all gotta take them off. And then after they're taken off, we gotta paint the trim. Then we gotta sand these and paint them, then put them back on. And then hopefully we get that done and we can finish up the bathroom, but who knows at this point. Home Depot, oh man, they are on my, <clears throat> they're on my shit list right now. I'm so mad at them. So, I ordered this glass wall for the bathroom. And that's basically all we have left. Yeah, I'm doing some drywall work, got to texture it, paint it, but that's like minor stuff. The last thing really to do is put up the glass wall. Now I can't do that because these jabronis, I ordered the glass wall through them and they lost one of the parts. So I have the glass wall, but I don't have the stuff to install it. There's supposed to be these little things that go on the glass wall so you can install them. I just got a big piece of glass and I can't just balance it there because Ugh, so irritating. So I've been on the phone with Home Depot for like the last week trying to get this part figured out and they keep saying, oh, we'll order it, we'll order it. Well, we'll email these people and see if they can send the part. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do that. So I just ordered it again. Hopefully it comes in correct this time and then I can return the other one that's incorrect. Or maybe the new part will come in and they order it, then I'll return the new one that I just got. But the new one that I just got was more expensive. Exact same product, $10 more. They upped the price in the last month. Rip off. So yeah, I'm upset with Home Depot. They're delaying my project, making this take even longer than it already has been. So that's why we're doing the doors this weekend, trying to stay productive. Oh, oh my. This dog is so cute, but he just stands right at my feet and I trip over him. Got this right angle drill. Never used it before, so figure we'd give it a try. All right, I can see how that could be convenient if it's a tight space, but if you're just doing what I'm doing, it's incredibly annoying using that type of drill. This is about as stripped as it could possibly get. I have no clue what to do. How bad would it be to just rip it out? It's gonna mess up that hole. But one, two, seven, eight more holes. So if that hole's ruined, it might be all right. All right, we got another one. That's not good. Saw this thing on TikTok about this lady whose babies got switched at the hospital. Not once, but twice. She said once is a accident, I think. Twice is a pattern. This is a pattern. TikTok, you taught me a pattern. Not good. Got it. All right, this is not looking too good. We couldn't get the door handles off, so they're all stacked weird. They wouldn't just stack right. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> Hunt's back in town. Uncle Dad! 9.40, we're off, finally. Will it make it? No. I don't. Kylie says no. Hunt? 100%. Hunt's pretty confident, we'll see. I honestly, uh, it could go either way. Guys, good news, we made it. I was questioning it, but. for sure. Now it's already 11 o'clock. Hunt and I still both have our workouts to do, so. The plan to, uh, to get these sanded and one layer painted tonight, it ain't gonna happen. Good night, world. <laughs> Great news, we now have two door handles. So, that's nice. One for inside, one for outside.
now Wednesday. My mess out in the backyard is piling up, and we're finally gonna get these doors done. You know what I like to say? The projects always take longer, and they're always more difficult than you think. Thought I'd be done Sunday. It's now Wednesday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wow, that's a long time. My roommates have not had doors on their bedrooms or the bathroom. <laughs> since Friday. So they've got little towels hanging up on their bedroom doors and then in the bathroom we got a little curtain rod over the door so you can poop in peace. Man, this vlog is probably one of the more boring vlogs but I also, I really like it because this is like, this is real, real estate investing. None of the super like, like this is it. This is what it's like. So if you're gonna buy a property, you gotta know it's a lot of this. What is on my hand? I got this little Thing stuck on my nail. If you watch a lot of YouTube or HGTV, you know they'll show like the really low moments because it's good TV and they'll show the really like high exciting moments because it's fun because I never want to see that. But they don't show the boring nitty gritty stuff because no one really wants to see that on TV. But this is it. This is what it's like. It's a lot of painting baseboards, sanding, doing stuff that's not super exciting, not super fun, but you gotta do it. <laughs> Just a little over halfway, and it's been a process. We found out that the handles don't really fit in here the way we'd like them to. They just don't fit at all. So we're doing a little adjusting because I will not let these not fit. I don't want to have to return these and get different door handles. I don't think it's the handles. I think it's the door. I think the hole is too small. So, so step one, use this bad boy to make this hole a little bigger. Alright, time for step two. The hole is a little wider here now and a little deeper here. Now I gotta make it a little taller and a little shorter, longer. So I'm gonna take the chisel. Now, take the Dremel tool, make it a little wider here and right here and right here and right here. Booyah. Alright. Now, I'm gonna put this bad boy in there. I always forget which way this goes, this way or this way, so I need to like visualize it. So that's gonna close it that way. So I'm gonna put it like this, stick it right in there, perfect fit. Oh yes, that is perfect. So this is gonna go right in here, oh, perfect. Put this through here, and then at this point, you gotta get this to match up. Now we're talking, let's go. Now we gotta screw these by hand because the drill won't fit right there. Like I said, this is real estate investing. It's not always fun, not glamorous, not always super exciting and crazy. Sometimes you just gotta put on doors until 11 at night. At this rate, probably midnight. But you gotta do what you gotta do. If you wanna buy a property, and it's fixer-upper, know that there's gonna be a lot of big projects. But for every big project, there's gonna be a small project that you think is small, but it's really not that small. Like I like to say, the projects are never as easy and quick as you think. It always, it always takes longer. There's always little curveballs. It's never gonna be simple. Come on. Yes, look at that. Box, oh yeah. Oh, it's now 12.08. That was way longer. I say that literally every time I do anything. I was way longer than expected. And it was. Every time. Every time. After working all day, then coming home and doing that. That's a long day. It's a lot of work, but we got it done. I know it's not the most fun thing to watch, but it's real. Keeping it real. If you think this type of vlog is boring, let me know. If you like it, also let me know. There's a lot of mundane, long, boring tasks that go into doing this that I didn't even think about. I kind of glossed over when buying this house. So I'm sure a lot of you are glossing over it too and just not even thinking about it. So if you want to see some of that stuff that maybe you don't even know that goes into this stuff, I'm, I'm tired and I'm rambling, whatever. Anyways, let me know what you like in videos. I don't know. Again, don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. Good night. Bye.